When it hit the airwaves that the Italian government had earmarked a whopping 12 billion euros to connect the mainland of Italy to the island of Sicily via a bridge over the Strait of Messina, it felt like a train waiting at the station for far too long. After all, the strait's only three kilometers wide, so why hasn't this relatively simple project even started yet? Well, the answer to the question is deeper than you might think, and in this video, I will be telling you the shocking truth about why there's no bridge to Sicily. What most people don't know is this. The plan to build a bridge connecting to Italy has been in the works for thousands of years. It was the ancient Romans who first came up with the idea, particularly a man named Pliny the Elder. Pliny was a Roman soldier and renowned philosopher, and with a mind filled with futuristic ideas, so he came up with a plan to build what would have been the most awesome architectural work in Rome since the Colosseum. Unfortunately for Pliny, the Strait of Messina is 32 kilometers long and 3 kilometers wide. It's also more than 600 feet deep, and this meant that building such a bridge required more than just manpower. Rome simply didn't have the technology to execute such a project at the time, and Pliny's dreams of a bridge linking Italy to Sicily went up in flames. But that's not to say the idea was completely forgotten, as talks of building a bridge came up again in the Middle Ages. This time it was Charlemagne, and later the Normans, who thought they could turn the idea into a reality. But once again, limitations of the era's technology also meant that their dreams would never become a reality. Fast forward to 1886 and Italy's public works minister Stefano Giacini called on engineer Alfredo Catro to create a plan for the bridge. Keep in mind that at this time the world was far more developed and they now had the technology needed to execute the project, but they would face a new challenge along the way. This time the plan to build the bridge was halted by geological and political constraints and the plan got scrapped once again. But that would not be the death of this dream, because in the 20th century, a major push was made for the Italy-Sicily bridge to be built. In the 1950s, David Steinman, who was an American engineer, came up with the idea to construct a gigantic suspension bridge over the Strait of Messina. Steinman's proposed bridge was going to be phenomenal, as it was meant to be larger than the famous Golden Gate Bridge. Unfortunately, Steinman's plans too got shelled. But in the 1990s, the Italian government decided to take matters into their own hands by laying out a well-detailed blueprint for the bridge. But this wasn't going to be just any bridge. According to the plan, the bridge would span 10,800 feet long, a whopping 1,253 feet above the Strait of Messina. Now, if you understand these figures, you would know that this bridge would have been taller than the Empire State Building. So, with the Italian government now fully involved, what stopped this bridge from becoming a reality to date? Let's explore the major reasons one by one. One of the major reasons why there's no bridge from Italy to Sicily till this day is geographical location. The Strait of Messina is one of the most beautiful waters you'll ever see, but don't be deceived, there's a lot of danger behind its beauty. This makes building a bridge over it a nightmare for engineers. In case you didn't know, the Strait of Messina connects the Ionian Sea in the south to the Tyrrhenian Sea in the north, and this particular area is known for its constant vibrations and earthquakes. It's right in the heart of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates, and if you know your history well, this is not where you want to build a bridge. You see, the Messina earthquake of 1908 was one of the most horrific earthquakes in European history. It killed more than 100,000 people, and it has gone down in history as one of the most tragic natural disasters of all time. But that was even at a time when the human population was much lower. Imagine having a bridge in that area today, with thousands of cars driving over and such an earthquake hits? Absolutely disastrous. Now, let's say the engineers actually want to take that risk. It'll mean building the bridge with super advanced earthquake resistant technology and will be very, very expensive. But earthquakes aren't the only geographical challenges involved in building a bridge to Sicily. There's also the problems of strong underwater currents and turbulent winds. This makes the strait an unpredictable and dangerous area to do construction work of any kind. The narrowest part of the strait is about 3 kilometers wide, but the water reaches a depth of 660 feet. This makes it prone to unpredictable tidal surges, and building a bridge over it would seem more like a death wish rather than a step forward in architecture. Let's assume the best engineers in the world can figure out a way to solve the environmental challenges of the Strait of Messina. But the government still has to face the headache of finance. I mean, where is money for a project like that coming from? If you think this project will cost millions, you better think again, because according to recent estimates, building the bridge will cost anywhere between six to nine billion dollars. That's no chump change, especially when you consider the fact that Italy's national debt is around three trillion dollars. 
Many argue such a huge sum of money can be spent on more important things like education, healthcare, and economic recovery instead of building just one bridge. And while this makes sense to the critics of the bridge, others feel differently. Some argue that embarking on such a project could potentially create jobs, boost tourism, and enhance trade between Europe and North Africa, which will in turn generate wealth for both the people and the governments. But even with the prospect of an economic boost, critics of the bridge are still not convinced that its long-term gains are greater than the actual cost of building it. What's more interesting is that conspiracy theorists have their own take on why there's no bridge to Sicily. They think that those who are against building the bridge are groups of influential folks who make a lot of money from the ferry services that currently move travelers between the mainland and Sicily. According to said conspiracy theorists, influential individuals who profit from the absence of the bridge they're the ones lobbying behind the scenes to see to it that the bridge never gets built. But who are these individuals who are working behind the scenes to make sure that the Strait of Messina Bridge never sees the light of day? Now, how are we going to talk about influential individuals in Italy without talking about the Mafia? For those of you who don't know, you can't talk about major Italian construction works without involving the Mafia. The Sicilian Mafia, aka the Cosa Nostra, possess a lot of power in southern Italy, especially in areas of public works and construction. The fear among supporters of the bridge is that if construction is given the go-ahead, the Mafia, being as influential as they are in Italy's construction sector, will take undue advantage by siphoning off huge sums of money through corrupt means, even extortion. It's common knowledge that the Mafia have made their way into major construction projects, so why would this be any different? Some believe that the government's actually afraid of the Mafia's involvement in the construction process, and that's another reason the Messina Bridge has not yet been built. But there's a deeper plot. What if the Mafia isn't interested in anything that would disrupt their already existing ferry business and power in the region? I mean, they've been making a lot of money for transport and passengers across the Messina for years. They pretty much control everything that goes on around there. Now, this is purely speculative, but the bridge would most likely lessen their control over the region and deplete their business interests in that area. Of course, we don't have any evidence to support this, but one thing we know for sure is that the mob is real. Another thing we know is that simply talking about their names could send chills down the spines of those who think about opposing them. But this isn't just the Mafia that'd be upset about the construction of a bridge. You're not going to believe this, but the Sicilians too would get pissed off. For those of you who don't know, the people of Sicily are opposed to having a connecting bridge. Why? Because Sicilian nationalists take a lot of pride in their culture and history. They think the island's unique identity and independence would be destroyed if every Tom, Dick, and Harry had access. As we know, Sicilian culture is quite different from mainland culture, and an influx of mainlanders will surely change the Sicilian way of life. But there's something else we need to consider there. Sicily has been invaded and colonized many times in the past by outside forces, including the Romans, the Greeks, the Normans, even the Arabs. For a typical Sicilian nationalist, enough is enough. Building a bridge that connects the mainland to Sicily might just seem like another attempt by external powers to invade and take control of the island, and who can blame them for thinking that way? If that be the case, then I'm sure the Sicilians will be happy about how frequently priorities of the Italian government changes. With every changing government comes a new plan. The bridge gets approved by one government, cancelled by the next, approved by the other one, and then cancelled again. A good example of this is Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi was in power in 2008. He was a major supporter of the bridge's construction and even pledged $1.2 billion to the project. However, Berlusconi got overthrown by Prime Minister Mario Monti in 2011, and the project was scrapped once again. And while the constant back and forth has been frustrating for proponents of the bridge, it makes the people of Sicily happy knowing that their island can stay reserved for a few more years. Taking all these hindrances into consideration, it's worth asking if there's ever going to be a bridge to Sicily. The honest answer to that question is no one knows. The technology needed to build the bridge is available, but it's just too expensive. Some politicians have supported it, but plans change once another government takes over. And then there's the mob and the Sicilian people who are looking out for their best interests and nothing more. But whether the bridge is ever built or not, the story of why it was never built will be just as legendary as the bridge itself. That's if it ever gets built. Now, head down to the comments and tell us if you think there will ever be a bridge to Sicily. We are committed to releasing two vids a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.